Hello again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny episode. Now, before we get into it, I want to first announce the winner of the last week's Thousand Silver giveaway because I was not able to yesterday. Uh, yesterday, my internet connection was actually down uh, due to a power outage over in Rochester, New York, about two cities away from me. So it was actually a pretty big deal. The entire East Coast that had Frontier's internet service actually was down. So almost 24-hour time period of having no internet is really bad for a YouTuber. But hey, we're back, so here's a video. Now, to get into it, the winner of last week's Thousand Silver giveaway was the Earth Gamer. Now, if you can contact me on Twitter, at VPrivilege, I'd greatly appreciate it. I can give you the code, you can download the money, and go and buy and purchase your Thousand Silver straight from PlayStation or Xbox, whichever one you choose. Now, further on, I am giving away a Thousand Silver this week on the channel as well. Every single week on Destiny, I will be giving away a Thousand Silver. So this week, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel once again, like this video and comment below down in the comment section what are you going to be buying from lady efforty and are you going to be buying something if yes what is it now to get into this video i am going to be going over lady efforty's inventory what's tier 12 what's good what's bad what we should and should not buy so without further ado let's go over what she's got first off beginning of the week you're supposed to pick up the bounties do the bounties first and see if you get anything possible out of what she is selling if you don't then come back and purchase what you want. Now, very first thing, we'll go over the weapons first because we have a little bit more to talk about with the armor than what we do with the weapons. So Titanium Orchid, very first thing, something that you probably should buy. It's actually a very good roll. So if you don't get it from the bounties or playing Iron Banner, you might want to definitely go and get this because, wow. First off, Grenades and Horseshoes, really good perk. It's on the Truth Rocket Launcher and everybody loves it. But played alongside Javelin and Hard Launch, it's going to be very effective. Why? If you have Hard Launch, it increases the velocity to almost maxed, and then you drop the Blast Radius down a little bit. If you drop the Blast Radius down a little bit, that means you want to make sure that that rocket is very close to your enemy. Doing so, if the rocket is about to miss the enemy, it's going to fly right past him. The cool thing is with grenades and Horseshoes, if the rocket comes into proximity of the target, it will detonate giving the most damage to that target, the most blast radius, and also you have the increased velocity of the Javelin and Hard Launch. Javelin and Hard Launch work together, almost 100% velocity, alongside having the increased reload speed, which rocket launchers need because they reload slowly, and then you also have that Grenades and Horseshoes. Now you can swap that out if you want to for Cluster Bombs. Cluster Bomb isn't actually that bad, but I don't prefer that over the Grenades and Horseshoes. I'd actually prefer Grenades and Horseshoes with your flared magwell, javelin, and then hard launch. So definitely buy this titanium orchid if you don't have a better roll already. Next up, the binding blaze. Not really impressed with this one. The only thing I'm impressed by is the rangefinder. Everything else can really just go away. It's got the standard sights. It's got rangefinder. That's it. It's not actually that fancy. Now the trespasser, way better. Dreg's promise, probably better than this one. I'd actually recommend using the Dreg's Promise over this one, preferably because the Binding Blaze needs certain perks to really work well, especially with the God Roll sidearms that we've had previously in the past on this channel. So wouldn't recommend the Binding Blaze. Now for the chest pieces, we do have a Tier 12, which would be this one, Discipline and Strength. So it's actually more preferred to go on your Hunter and buy this one than your Warlock, but hey, we're on my Warlock right now, so let's take a look at it. First off, it is going to have Solar Recovery and Solar Armor, good for the Self-Res Warlock. It's also got that Pulse Rifle Ammo and that Shotgun Ammo, good for PvP or uh, PvE. Then we've got that Increased Discipline and Strength. Now, Discipline for a Warlock, great. Strength for a Warlock, you can build a Discipline and Strength build for a Warlock, but I would recommend this entire set for your Hunter instead, along with Golden Gun. It's a really good Crucible set if you're going to be a Hunter. Next up. We've got a tier 11 build, which is going to be Intellect and Discipline, 84 maxed Intellect, and 86 max Discipline. Now this one will be more towards your Warlock. Your Warlock is going to want to run that Arc Recovery or that Arc Armor, thanks to running your subclass being a Stormcaller. You're going to have that Scout Rifle for the PvE or PvP, saying the Burning Eye Adept from the Trials of Osiris or the Might of Multitool. Then you're going to want that Sniper Rifle Ammo. Sniper Rifle Ammo being good for the Crucible if you're really good at snipers, or you could even run it in PvE. And again, Intellect and Discipline, really good for your Warlock. But then again, this chest piece is not going to be Tier 12 like this one next to it. 
Next up, we've got a tier 12 version of the gauntlets, being 58-58 for discipline and strength. Again, going to be good for your hunter, but not too much on your warlock's case. Now, if you are going to run the discipline and strength build for your hunter, warlock, and your titan, then it's good all around. Next up, we've also got the problem of having a reload speed for auto rifles. Auto rifles aren't that great. A lot of people don't use auto rifles, and if you do find a good auto rifle, I would recommend the Extremophile from Dead Orbit. Now, if you aren't going to be running an auto rifle, then you can just forget this perk altogether, and you can just run the tier 12 build with, say, your Hunter. Um, let alone with that, you have impact induction, and you also have energy projection, which isn't that bad. You've got increased grenade throw distance, which is good, and then you've also got the bonus grenade energy on melee hit. Now, you are going to be running that strength and discipline, so melee with a warlock, getting your grenade back, not that bad, especially with the sniping melee from, say, the Stormcaller. Next up, we've got an Intellect and Discipline build. Good for your Warlock, but again, it's going to be a tier 11 this time. It's not maxed out, but it is fairly close. It's got one point away from being maxed out, so it's going to be probably like a 98%, which is going to be a tier 11. You've got increased melee attack speed, you've got the Scout Rifle Reloader, and then you've also got your Momentum Transfer Gain Melee um, Energy on Grenade Hits, which, again, isn't actually that bad. So, really good to work on any of these. Any of the armor pieces are fairly decent, depending on what build you're going to be running. So from the words that I've just told you today, there you have it, Guardians. That's all the information for this video. All the stuff that you should get is pretty much the armor pieces, depending on what build you have, all the way up to the Titanium Orchid. You can actually forget about the sidearm. You can definitely get a better rolled sidearm inside of playing Iron Banner. So good luck, Guardians. Have fun in Iron Banner, and as always, stay violent, be privileged, and we'll see you all in the Crucible.